So I'm having some uh, riding lawnmower fun here this uh, long weekend. I've got uh, two of them. This is the one that I actually had running. Then I got this second one here that's pretty much a twin for it. I think they're the same year. But anyway, make a long story short here. I was cutting the grass with that one. Haven't had it run in about four years and uh, got it going, cutting the grass and all of a sudden this god awful noise and it it uh, blew both um, blade bearings in in the one uh, the one blade. <clears throat> so I discovered something about these. Um, there's uh, two types. This one's welded in and the other type is bolted in. So this one here is the one that blew the bearings. I put new bearings in it because you can unscrew the nut there, take the pulley off, drive the shaft out the bottom. In this case it fell out. But um, and then just put new uh, ball bearings in the top and bottom. It's just what I did. They're just a standard bearing. Now this type, if you wanted to do something similar, you'd have to grind the welds off here. You probably cut the shaft off, grind, grind the welds. You have to get that pulley off that shaft somehow and then uh, put new bearings on it. This one, um, you think between two mowers I would have four of these, but I didn't actually have two good ones. This one was on the machine when uh, the other side blew, but it's loose at the bottom. See the play on it there, so I don't, I don't really trust that anymore. Uh, so that's why I rebuilt this one. So anyway, I got my two good blade mounts on it, and I figured while I was uh, going through this thing here, I would, you know, try to build one decent lawnmower out of two. So here's the, uh, I guess, the drive tensioner, and it's uh, a little loose also, but I pried both seals out of it and uh, put grease in. There wasn't much grease in it, and what was there was uh, dry like wax. So the intention is to take my 12 and a half horse Tecumseh here, and uh, put it on to this deck. I've had to do a little modification here for the muffler. Um, the muffler was on it. This is a 12 horse that was originally on it, but it had an accident there on the magneto mount. Uh, somebody uh, broke it and stripped it. So I just got the whole lawnmower for free. But it's basically the same, you know, the pulleys are the same and uh, pretty much everything. So I'm borrowing the muffler off it because mine. I never did like the muffler on it because it came out it came out off the motor and sat basically almost underneath the carburetor and so when I got it going this time the carburetor kept dripping gas until I put a new seat in it and so that's a pretty dangerous situation uh, so this one's much better I also thought I could reverse it and stick it over on this side but I'd have to weld up a new mount back to uh, to there but that would have worked also but I think I got her now but I just had to do a little modification because uh, I was afraid the bolts on this would vibrate out so I uh, put a spot of weld on each one but that meant that the muffler and motor had to all drop in at once and it, it wouldn't until I massaged the frame there a bit so anyway I'll go ahead and, and uh, put the motor on that one thing about these mowers it's nice they include the V-belt routing diagram so this one's for the blades on this, like 1984-ish, 36-inch uh, uh, Sears mower. Uh, so it says viewed from the top. So this is your right-hand blade, left-hand blade, motor, and the idler. So that shows you how to route the belts. It has a similar one on the bottom left foot pan uh, for the um, mower drive uh, belt routing. I'll uh, see if I can show it also, but it's going to be more difficult since it's attached. This one was on the deck, I believe, and it came off. So I'll try to show this one. This is the this is the back, and this is the engine and the movable one and the stationary pulley. So that's the drive diagram for this this uh, mower. I finally got the motor installed on the, the frame there and just having lots of fun with it. Got the blade uh, drive belt on. No, sorry. 
the motion drive belt but uh, I forgot to loop it around the motor uh, pulley while I was putting it on and so I had to undo two things at the back to loosen it up off the pulley back there get it wrapped around the motor and then put it back uh, back on it's one of those easy things you know you don't quite know the sequence anyway there's this spring here that attaches to the idler and when it's not compressed it's both back to here so you have to pull it like four inches and that takes like an act of congress to do but since I'm just having way too much fun out here in the hot sun to bother going inside and uh, getting on the internet and looking for a shortcut there might be a simple way to do it what I did I took a box end wrench it's still still hanging there hooked it through it pulled it through and I I'm either gonna cut a slot or I'm gonna leave the wrench there it doesn't really affect anything so anyway I'm sure a person could buy a hook tool but I don't have any and everything's closed today being a holiday weekend so now it's a uh, electrical wiring time so I'm getting there well, there, I got my nice shiny new looking blade mount attached. Learned one thing, not all of them are made for some tapping screws. This one wasn't. So, I'm about ready to uh, put the blades on it first and then uh, put it on the mower. Pulled the front uh, support bracket right off the deck, just uh, another pin there. And on the deck, this probably a blade engagement lever here it has to be facing towards the front um, because it hooks in over here I had it towards the back and you can't without sliding the deck back out you can't rotate it towards the front well I hit another little snag here I couldn't get the rear two mounting pins in until I connected the front and jacked the front of the deck. Until that front was jacked up, it wasn't going to happen. I tried jacking the back, everything. Spent probably an hour playing around with it. But until I jacked the front of the deck and had it connected, she just did not want to align at the back. So, another little quirk. I guess I got to put the gas tank in and hope that uh, the electrical on this one's okay because it's sat for five years. So hopefully we'll get her going here soon. Well, I got it all back together and running. Got the grass that I needed to with it. So, looks like it was a successful repair job. Apparently I'm going to have to look at something there. See, a little oil sitting on the deck. Don't know where that's coming from. This could be that no crankcase vent or something. Anyway, lots of fun. I had uh, ran into electrical issues. The connector going to the uh, key switch. One of the terminals wasn't very good in it, so I had to replace it and cut and solder wires and all that fun stuff. But. It's going now. We've got some uh, flux. That's a nice purple color here. And these things growing on the lawn. They'll be uh, nice tall flowers. And the rhubarb's going absolutely bananas this year. It's crazy. I've already had some like tarts made from it, so that's good. But. Raspberries growing there. More rhubarb. Anyway, so just getting getting ready to start planting in the garden fairly quickly here. So anyway, everybody have a good one.